Hey guys, how we doing? For what well, we're here for another special episode of the Escapade podcast. This is episode 25. I'm on my lonesome today, but I'm ready to rock. Mr. Stephen Kirkwood is a busy man today. So we're cracking on. We have a very, very special guest with Sesmo D from Italy. Sesmo or Daniele, how are you doing? Good morning, everyone. And uh, I'm fine. Good, thanks. Brilliant. Amazing. So, Sesmol D has thank been releasing music a long time. Me. Yes. Thank you. No, thank you so much. We have uh, Frankie Effie to thank for that. So, Francesco brought us together where we did episode 20. So, um, Sesmol D, or Daniele here, has been releasing music since 2009. Am I right or am I wrong? 2007. 2007, there we go. Yeah. Perfect. So, Tell me a little bit about your journey into the music industry and why you wanted to start making music. So the this, the history is very long because I started to 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 do music and to trying to make music uh, since I was a child because my my family my father was a drummer. It is a drummer nowadays. And uh, also my my brother. So the music in my in my home so always music was I, always there in the family. In my in my in my mind in my rooms in my home. So I started study. I I was um, I've been a student uh, from for many years because I I tried at at the beginning when I was. 15, uh, try to to learn the machine and the music technology yeah. uh, for for start to 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 make something different because uh, in 2000 in the first 2000 uh, years the music uh, there was a very specific uh, kind of music mm-hmm. uh, as techno music house music trance and uh, drum and bass, uh, uh, every genre uh, were so focused. And I really love, I always love art techno music, mm-hmm. uh, like uh, art core, drum, uh, art groove, and uh, art techno. Uh, this, is, this is my first love with the, the, the sounds. That I never, I never seen before. Mm-hmm. So uh, every this in the the happening in in a pre internet era. Uh-huh. So the the music uh, was not on in, on the internet, mm-hmm. but but uh, only in the club. Mm-hmm. So if you want to 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 increase your music musical uh, ex- N- knowledge, uh, ma- yeah. knowledge, yeah. You, uh, you must to 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 have an experience mm-hmm. with music, with the club, with mm-hmm. the, with other people, other artists, mm-hmm. to so to learn something more mm-hmm. and to to do something different. Mm-hmm. Yes, because because uh, at the beginning you uh, you have to uh, copy or to uh, copy author other DJs, other music, other artists, because you are not uh, an artist. Yes. Yet. So you have to... Uh, you have to get influences. Yeah. You have to get influences, but to, to try to create your own... Your own sound. Style. Yeah. So for me, it, it was very difficult because I love a lot of different, of different music. And the, the music technologies um, are were not so easy like today. Yes. I started with Cubase in 2002. Okay. And Q, Cubase is is so so hard to 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 learn at the at the beginning. So I started to study at uh, conservatory and uh, other academy music academy to to grow. 
to grow my my possibility because if you if you know how to set your your machine your setup and your instruments you can express yourself better yeah yeah, yeah. with more so, knowledge because you you can make better music because yeah, you know what you know what you're doing yeah so uh, this is for me was so much important to study since uh, 2003 till 2017 i think my i, I got my last uh, degrees uh, the on 2017 okay so, and, and now i i i also teach electronic music because i love uh, every the 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 whole world of uh, sounds uh, sound design mm -hmm. uh, electronic music and uh, this is my my only uh, passion my, on, <laughs> my only passion my only way to 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 express myself yes yeah and to I know what you mean, like a meaningful existence is really what you're. I think you're trying to say is when you do something that you're passionate about, yeah. it makes your life better because yeah. you have you have a reason for for being here. You have a reason for, yeah. Yeah, even if sometimes it's so difficult. Yes. Because you can uh, get some big money uh, at the beginning with music. Uh, the only way uh, to to get a new, uh, your your uh, economy uh, stabilities uh -huh. uh, is to have uh, a gig. Yes. To have a gig, you you have to have you have to uh, an exposure to social media today. So in the in in these ten years, the 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 things are deeply changed. Well, that was one of my questions was in those last 10 years, what do you see as the main difference to trying to get exposure 10 years ago to trying to get exposure now? So uh, 10 years ago, the, the, the techno scene in Rome, as, uh, as, as in the rest of the world, has uh, extremely changed. The way to uh, to relation with the, with the, the, the other artists or DJs or promo or promoter or uh, club uh, owner. So uh, one time, ten years ago, you uh, this is the the way to to have a little exposure is to have uh, or a big releases mm -hmm. on the the biggest labels, yeah, famous labels or you uh, or have a resident uh, position, DJ resident position. And a good DJ club somewhere. Yeah. Are not exist anymore today. The, the, the figure of the DJ resident uh, is... Uh, it's not uh, the same as it was. It's not, it's not the same. So uh, today, if you are uh, so... Uh, big and so strong on the social media mm -hmm. without know uh, how the music uh, is done mm -hmm. or without any knowledge mm -hmm. about music and about culture because techno is not only uh, a music or uh, an entertainment no it's a way a, a, a way to think is the way to live mm -hmm. also it's like anti-culture See, yeah, yeah, yeah. it was anti-culture, yeah. but nowadays is the it's mainstream. The culture. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It's mainstream, absolutely mainstream. So, uh, mm -hmm. for the new generation, I, I am 30, uh, 30 because I, I'm not old, an old guy. But uh, compared to the twenty people today, uh, I see this different. Mm -hmm. There is no more. Culture, passion to, and time to uh, increase yourself to to grow up with your music. You need to uh, leave the techno, also in the club, mm -hmm. not only in the studio. Because in the studio you you can do better, you can do music better, 
only with the background in the club because music in the studio in the club are too different yes but that 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 shows you the importance of being a dj because being a dj you can read the club you can read what the people you are can, like you so you know what type of drops they like when you should bring in the energy yes you're absolutely right you're you're right this is a um like a a a, a sense mm -hmm. you can you you need to explore to uh, increase because it is not only a, a release on beatport but is the how people reach uh, uh, um, respond feedback to yes. to this uh, to, to, how to they your, feel how they feel yeah I mean I think it's the same as um, it's the same as hip hop because with hip hop it was a culture and you had to express a message and techno is the same I don't think the message is the same anymore not in hip hop or in techno and I think that's because it's easier now to make music you know than it was 10 15 years ago now it's much easier to access yeah, it's much easier but there are so much music so very, much <laughs> so so much music and it's impossible to have a, a vision of the the real scene and the real trend mm -hmm. because there's so much uh, yeah because uh, I, I don't know in 2000 2005 uh, techno uh, techno style or uh, other genres uh, have a live, a live. Yes, a in, life, uh, yeah. Too, ma too much years. Now, every day, changed. Yeah, songs uh, don't yeah. last as long. Uh, yeah. Because this, this era is too smart, it's too much. Yeah. Too much smart, too much fast. Uh -huh. Fast is not it's not uh, good. It's not, it's not good sometimes. Quality, the quality goes down because yeah. there's so much now. Yeah, so much, uh, so much uh, new guys, new new child uh, sometimes that start to make music and <clears throat> after one or two tracks, one or two tracks, they want to release and to go out and maybe labels uh, don't don't accept your music and uh, they create mm -hmm. your uh, the a label a new label yeah as and this is uh, uh this is not good for the 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 artist they they have uh, uh I, I don't know the 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 experience uh -huh. and uh I don't know the one background. Mm -hmm. If you don't have background, it's so hard to to have your identity. I, I understand. I understand. I think uh, there's so much noise now. Is the best way to put it. With so many artists, um, it is. It's getting harder now for your music to do the talking. So much now is through social media, as we spoke yeah. about earlier. Sometimes people think that the the knowledge are on the internet. Mm -hmm. This is this is a big, a wrong thing. It's not the is is not the the reality because the knowledge you have this is a a passive information. This is a passive information. You you don't uh, really understand how to make some some time a, how, how to create some environment music environment and uh, musical mood mm -hmm. and because he, every time we are uh, we not listen we not listen very well we don't have time to listen one track eight minute track the whole track no skip 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 Skip, skip, because you have no time. I have um, uh, um, a radio show on the national radio show in Italy uh, called uh, M2O uh, since 2011. And I listen a lot of 
promo, a lot of demo, every day. And uh, I, I need three or four seconds to understand if the track, if, if the, 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 the person uh, behind the track are a real producer or a, a, a normal person. I yeah. don't know. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah. So if, if you are... Uh, but so if you, are but, real, if you are not fake or God, you, 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 you can hear it, you can hear it. But at the same time, some songs or some tracks, maybe on the second or third listen, is when you actually like it. Some tracks yeah. you hear it first time, you're like, nah, nah. And then maybe you're in the club or you're somewhere else or your friend shows you. It. And you're like, oh, that's actually okay. okay. What 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 about, do you think about that? It's not about my own taste, my mm. own taste, but, but the production it, quality. Yeah, yeah, there are uh, objective uh, analysis. Yes. Uh, not not personal taste. Yeah, so it's the actual uh, production quality. Yeah, uh, I know. I I understand if, if the if he's real or fake. Fuck is made well or if you are if you have done a montage a college uh -huh. from loops and stuff yeah yeah the other pattern because i You've i hear the, the, yeah. the, the sample i hear the, the 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 loop and you are not uh uh ready yeah, so you Not can hear the loops. Yeah, yeah, I can understand from a sample pack or something. Yeah. You have to have your own sound mm -hmm. because uh, at, <laughs> to 10, 15 years ago, there are not loops or uh, sample packs, or sample library. I have one, one floppy with some kick and some, some snare, some hat, uh, and three, three or four plugins. Before Massive, uh, there was from Native Instrument uh, Pro uh, 53. Uh, so uh, other VST, there are no more uh, available now. Well, now uh, there are thousands. Now, tons of tons of tons of VST uh, preset and uh, uh, loops. Uh, th this is there are they are important in the at the beginning. For learn, yeah. for you ideas as well. For ideas as well. Ideas yeah. and for reverse engineering, you can mm -hmm. go. You uh, can learn. You can you can learn from preset, but if you want everything uh, fast, because you 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 don't want think how it's made. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. You you not uh, you are not make music you are you are only uh playing a game yeah collage some some sounds but uh, this is not you so do you think it's a is a cash is a random yeah uh, uh, moment mm -hmm, mm -hmm. do you think that's a reflection of our son uh, our society then daniele because yeah, we're talking about no one has attention anymore Everyone wants things fast, fast. Yeah. So it's the same as making music. They just want to do it quick. They want to make a yeah. song in one week and they want to have a number one hit. Because technology <laughs> allowed this. Yes. Uh, software, incredible software like uh, Ablet, Ableton. Yes. Uh, was the, the, the beginning, the start of this process of... Uh, uh, Everything fastest, uh, everything. Uh, mm -hmm. So you have not, you can't learn everything about I don't know uh, audio, digital audio or MIDI uh, on uh, technical stuff because it's it's just ready. You just mm -hmm. uh, open, click, and and play. This is a great thing from uh, one point of view uh -huh. because it's so creative I, I, I don't uh, uh, I don't have to uh, 
uh, miss time to set up the, 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 the session of the program on the settings. Mm-hmm. I just just play. And this is what I've done in my studio. I, I don't want to see the, the computer sometimes. Just uh, turn on Hardware. the machines and to play. Mm-hmm. Because I already solved so much problems. Because at the beginning of the, of the producer life, you have to solve an infinity quantity of problems. But these problems uh, allow you to, to grow. Yes. To understand sometimes. Absolutely. Sometime. Now, with this fast program, for the people that uh, start now to make music, this is not a good thing. Because uh, you can go deeply to the uh, how the computer think mm-hmm. and talk. And uh, if you don't talk with your instrument, mm-hmm. you can't have music. Only a random uh, relationships. I understand. So that well, that I've I've got two questions in. So we we will talk about your studio in a minute because it looks amazing. What's behind you? Thanks. But um, I wanted to just finish off by saying, surely then, with the technology the way it is, and the way that people can now throw music together instead of like passion and love in the project they just throw random stuff together surely that puts people like yourself in a better position because you have worked so hard from when it used to be very difficult you've had to answer and learn so much about production that now when you make music you really understand what you're doing as opposed to someone who hasn't had to do all those hard things? There is a time to 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 work, to um, have, to experiment mm-hmm. with some machine, but also with computer because computer is the most powerful yeah. instrument that you that you have. Mm-hmm. There is uh, one one synthesizer is one yeah. one note per time. Yeah. Computer are. Uh, conceptually inf- infinity yeah. uh, infinite system yeah. so you, you can uh, start from uh, um, pocket from less yeah. uh, uh, less thing less a little amount, yeah. to to know one two or three instrument and then uh, increase your setup it's impossible to start with all these uh, knowledge, n- n- knowledge, and all this equipment—it's—it's mm-hmm. it's a stupid. Uh, you you can uh, you can have a rich uh, rich guy, but but it's a uh, it's not the, the the right way. Yeah, because music technology seems easy, but mm-hmm. it's so difficult, mm-hmm. and the 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 the. the the technical things and the mathematical things are so, so uh, uh, difficult to, to understand uh, at the beginning. At one point, you can uh, expand yourself and uh, co- really try to control this machine because not not uh, because sometimes you can't control this machine. Yeah, they have uh, their own you- minds. Yeah, yeah, they think in, I don't know, in the strange ways. <laughs> but uh, you, you, you are the director. If and if the machine, uh, uh, the sa- the machine wins, you, you, you lose. You lose. <laughs> I, I, I don't know. Uh, so <laughs> there was, there is a time for study. Time for uh, exper- for uh, experiment with uh, with uh, also with the computer only just computer, and then play to try to create something. Then when you create something, you have to uh, to have a, a response from other one. From, mm-hmm. uh, 
there, the, there is not your mother or your father, mm -hmm. but your friends on the people in the club or uh, other producers, other, other, other producer. Yeah, yeah. Because which is are... the most important, I, I think, this is because the they know they know what to listen for. Yeah. If you if you are doing the, the right or wrong, uh, wrong, wrong yes. way. Yeah. So tell us about some of your favorite synthesizers. You obviously have a lot of hardware and equipment behind you. Before we started, I was saying it, it looked like something from Interstellar or something. Looks like you're <laughs> in a spaceship. Um, yeah, this is my spaceship. Yes. So uh, tell us about your favorite pieces of equipment. So my, my first synthesizer was a Korg Radius. One, one of the most difficult synthesizer in the world. <laughs> uh, I understand maybe, probably I understand this the synthesizer uh after I don't know five or six years. Now my my favorite synthesizer because which kind which which synthesizer which kind so uh, monophonic polyphonic monotimbrical polytimbrical or stuff. My favorite uh, monophonic synthesizer is a uh, super. Sub 37 from Moog. This is my, it, nice. my my really favorite bass. Okay. Because I, I have a full Moog synthesizer, uh, an RME Voyager, Little Fatty, Sub Fatty, Mother Mother 32. Uh, I I really love Moog sound because uh, I love uh, I love the some old old track mm -hmm. from uh, Mark Romboy and uh, Stefan Bodzin on compact uh, systematic uh, nice 2000 2004 i think 2006 Bodzin man Bodzin uh they 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 was they are my idols my, your idols yeah my my gods in terms of uh, of uh, uh, express uh -huh. es music mm -hmm, mm -hmm. and uh, my no my my biggest idol uh, is uh, Trent Moller the first Trent Moller my my first the, the first time that I think but how how they uh, how make this this kind of uh, sound micro sounds uh -huh. micro glitch uh, very very strange but you f you fell in love yeah, this is the the only the only way to to expand your your vision of the microstructure of the music because the techno is a, a large structure. Mm -hmm. So uh, in uh, I don't know sixteen or thirty two bits, the the things changed, mm -hmm. but also in the micro structure. Of uh, of techno, so this is a beautiful, beautiful, uh, beautiful way to to see the music mm -hmm, mm -hmm. on different la uh, layers. Mm -hmm. So and now my polyphon, my sorry, my no, no. favorite polyphonic uh, is uh, a Virus Access uh, Virus C. I have uh, an Indigo version of uh, Virus, and uh, I don't know. And the uh, is H uh, one uh, is H one oh one uh and also Roland stuff mm -hmm. and uh, my my prophet eight it's uh, it's a great uh, great synthesizer. So how would you would you say since getting all the hardware and synthesizer these have helped your productions? Yeah. So uh, a lot of time, uh, yeah. I I start from one one synthesizer. I start from maybe from uh, from ambient ambient sound mm -hmm. because I think that the the ambient uh, plane is the the most important plane in the music. is a, is a sonic plane. Uh, that is not the mainly. It's not the the front no, main, like a bass, like a yeah. lead, like a kick. It's a background, and the background. 
is just as important. important from the the uh, the front the front sound. Ah, that's very interesting. Yeah, I, I started from the from the environment from the soundscape. Nice. Not from, uh, not from the 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 lead sound, mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Like a kick like a bass, mm -hmm. because I I build the the music the the kick and the the rhythmic and the bass on inside an environment mm -hmm. inside a soundscape this is my my way to to start my music when i make music from for for Sismal, you, yeah for Sismal Day project mm -hmm. uh, but i also produce for uh, film music and uh, spot uh, uh, advertising and this is a different way because you have to relationship with the director. You have more uh, strict uh, to. Yeah, you, you don't. Have, you don't have as much creative you control. Don't have full freedom uh, to, to experiment. Work. To experiment. To experiment. So but I love synthesizer because are sometimes are uh, random. Yes, that, that give you other ideas. Random. Yeah, yeah, because inside the computer is too uh, hard to create random uh, material, random environment, mm -hmm. and uh, I love to to get something interesting, something random, a mistake, random mistake, because yeah. our music is full of mistakes. That gives you an idea to create something else. Yeah, 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 yeah. yeah. I, I I love this this approach. Because every time my my ideas are stupid or not interesting, and the idea the ideas uh, from another uh, event, from another sound that you 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 don't think yep um, ends maybe up giving you the idea better, yeah it's better to to create music so recently you and Frankie Effie have released on Dead Mouse's label yes so obviously Dead Mouse is like one of the 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 biggest biggest, the biggest the ever biggest are the most influenced uh, the most in influenced uh, artist uh, in in these 10 years yes so how how did that happen and have you seen what have you seen change since signing to that label? Yeah, uh, it's happened for a uh, uh, for one only one track for a lucky uh, a lucky moment uh, because me and Frankie start to to collaborate uh, two years ago because we we live very close to Rome in the same area of Rome. And uh, but I I know Frankie from from 2006. Uh, so let's get let's try to work to in do, the studio together. Do something together, and we do a track called "Fading Out," released on the Rainer Zonveld uh, label, Filton Acid. Amazing. And th this track uh, was. Play to Dead Mouse on his uh, residency uh, BBC or Pit Tongue residency, and uh, we don't uh, we don't we didn't believe this, but um, contact we we had contact with the uh, with the ENR of uh, Mousetrap, and we send him uh, some some material some tracks, and uh, they like it. And uh, start to to have uh, the first the first release on vinyl uh, into a compilation is to a various artist uh, called Superior, and then after a couple of months uh, we have the first EP the 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 very EP called the, called um, Dopamine, and then we have uh, we have released it recently one month ago the the second. Uh, EP, and uh, the the way that I, I, I see a very a different way to to work and to have a promotion and to to think the business the music business is not just 
promo send, uh, promo mail uh, or mailing list on uh, Facebook spam. It's not only this, it's the, the, the difficult thing is to create a, a real brand, a brand to have the, the tools, the, the, the possibility to, to have a character, a, a, a unique thing, a unique uh, brand a sound, a bunch of uh, sounds, a bunch of music, and uh, they are increase uh, they they roster the the roster of mousetrap uh, with new some new very interesting um, producer. Mm -hmm. uh, so I I really love the 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 work uh, uh, how they work mm -hmm. because it's very clean. It's very uh, Mm, easy. It's forward thinking. Yeah, yeah, very, very forward thinking because uh, is is uh, actual is the the actual uh, way. So have uh, some kind of promo or promotion, a uh, radio show, uh, the, the 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 real promo pool to the right DJs because it, it's uh, it's stupid to send. Uh, a techno track to one one million DJs. Uh, I receive uh, trance music, drum and bass music, but why? Yeah. Uh, uh, I, I don't play drum and bass music. I love drum and bass, but it's not for me. So, uh, Mousetrap are very focused on the the right people. Uh, uh, the, uh, uh, um, it's uh, it's hard to uh, to have a very um, like underground or mainstream. Mousetrap is very borderline. It's both. Uh, it's both. It's crossover. It's very crossover uh, label with sometimes product uh, very mainstream mm -hmm. as some Dead Mouse or uh, Atlas or Rinzen uh, music, more more pop, popish. Uh, or sometimes uh, very techno, uh, techno or similar techno. Mm -hmm. So with Frankie, we have a very, very beautiful uh, partnership. In the future, very near future, mm -hmm. very close, um, will be some. There, there were. Uh, there, uh, ci saranno delle novità. There was. Uh, the, so, so there's like news or like. Some some news uh, because Fra uh, me and Frankie uh, we start to have uh, a single as a sing uh, as a solo artist release. I have a, a new release on uh, on December twenty, I think. One release together, and then separate separate. Uh, Is this on, on mouse trap? We split, uh, we split. Yeah, yeah, in mouse trap. We split nice. the the the, pro the project because we ask uh, to the management uh, to the to the ENR um, people uh, if uh, are better for us to have a to solo have project, solo project or solo project. Okay, but solo tracks, uh -huh. not track uh, together. Yeah, yeah. And uh, and they say yes. Maybe we can try to have a solo uh, EP, EPs, uh -huh. and uh, some time together. I like it. Very good. That's good. That's yeah. a good thing. They, yeah. obviously, they obviously trust your sound and that they're starting to get to know you guys. So that's yeah. very good for Seswell D and uh, Frankie Effie. More, more focus on uh, on the, your or your personal um, brand, artist brand. name. So um, before we finish up, do you want to tell me what you have in store for the rest of 2018 and what new projects you have or gigs or, you know, whatever good news you have coming, please tell us. Yeah. Uh, the, the first is this, the, my, my first, uh, solo EP on mousetrap. And then, uh, yeah. And then, uh, it's second, very big. A second one in 2000, uh, 2019, I have probably the possibility to have uh, uh, another big label releases called 
Armada. Oh, but, nice. But I, I know that that I I I born like uh, as a techno musician. Mm-hmm. And uh, um, Armada is quite deep. Armada is quite deep. Progressive trance. Prog- prog- progressive, yeah. but I, I love. I really love progressive inside the melodic techno yes absolutely uh, stuff i really love this i agree uh, i i don't like anymore only the drums only the 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 the, the kick only kick and bass uh, uh, kick bass and hat i don't i don't like it in the for listening music maybe in uh, in, a, in a club uh, you know, or festival are okay because the the, the the PA system are so bigger, yeah. but uh, now I really love the the, the melody, the the bass and the deep atmosphere. Um, and then I, I have uh, two two great remix, uh, one for a new artist, a great great new artist called uh, Staccato. Staccato is a uh, a guy make uh, some good. Uh, Melodic techno stuff, and I remix it. I remix him uh, on uh, the on Frankie labels, uh, and uh, another big remix uh, uh, that I I I made in these days. A big remix f- for for Dead Mouse for one track of Dead Mouse. Boy. This is a uh, um, an incredible chance to to me. That's amazing because, because it is a, is an orchestral piece of music because that mouse has released uh, uh, an orchestral album and uh, the and mouse up uh, want to have uh, a remixes for uh, all for of those orchestral of songs impact. yes this is one of the biggest I, I, I released on the on time on the armada ready or uh, Amy, <coughs> or uh, Wall of Sound in London, but this is the biggest thing I ever made, absolutely, because is the is uh, one of the really godfather. Yeah, of one the, of the gods. Gods of electronic music today. Yeah, yeah. yeah. So this what is an it. honor. And and that's it. Excellent. Excellent. So you've been very, very busy. It's 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 really amazing to see. Um, we really enjoyed the episode with Frankie Effie as well, and I'm glad he made this happen between us. Um, we really appreciate everything you do, and you know we we just want to see you grow bigger and bigger. Same with Frankie Effie. We you know what you guys are doing is is really amazing, and to see. Someone like Dead Mouse recognizing your work and yeah. wanting you to do stuff and trusting you with doing yeah. a remix. This is the most important That's thing. That's the most important thing. So yeah. it just shows that you're doing something right. Yeah. You know? It's happening in the maybe for for a, a random reason. Uh, reason. I don't know. It doesn't matter. It's happening. It <laughs> no, yeah. Uh, yeah, amazing this amazing. is the uh, the actual the, the real yes I, I i guess i don't know if real well but... look see for for people who are watching this i think this is a very important message because you have been making music now for over 10 years you started in 2007 we're going into 2019 so it's like 12 years and now you're starting to get there with the yeah. trust of Dead Mouse, with the bigger labels. I think this is an important message for people looking to get into music to show how long it can take to build a career. The process, yeah. The career of building respect, of building, you know, so, like very good work behind you, collaboration, networking. So yeah. everything together. And it's now arriving. Experience. Bad experiences, playing gigs in front of nobody, you know, yeah. to, <laughs> a, a, and then playing festivals wow, with thousands. Yeah. Yes, and then playing festivals to thousands of people. 
You know, yeah. it's it's the journey that you have to enjoy, not the destination. No. You have no. to enjoy the, the journey, process, yeah. the journey. Like a synthesizer, lots of random... Our destination is death. Exactly, exactly. <laughs> so if you can't smile until then, what is yeah. the point? What is the point? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Thank you so much. Um, really, really enjoyed it. So, um, yeah, so like, so thanks so much, everyone. That is... Uh, we've just spoke to Sesmil D, Daniele, um, for episode 25 of the Escapade podcast. Uh, big shouts to Eugenio. Um, for, for filming everything so yes Sesmal D and it will be up soon guys so check it out thank you to everyone who watches if this is your first time watching thanks so much for staying to the end and if you're a normal subscriber thank you as always Trips okay until next time this has been the SP Podcast